This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. News has broke from Spain on the 27th of May that the police have seized over a ton of cocaine that was in an operation called Operation Kikan. This was in the port of Algeciras and they also arrested two port workers they believe were involved in the importation. They then go on to say in the statement that they dismantled a criminal organisation who were bringing in cocaine from South America through that port. In total now 30 people have been arrested and a thousand kilos taken off the streets. They've also raided several houses in Algeciras and the surrounding areas. During the raids, they seized 10 vehicles, 172,000 euros in money, 40 kilos of cocaine, an assault rifle and two short firearms. The Spanish police have now revealed the operation started in September 2022 when the investigators began to track a group of truckers. All of them worked for the same freight company. They said they would use their work activity to access the port terminal to take cocaine from inside the containers. This fact was confirmed in December 2022 when they found 500 kilos that were seized at the port inside nine suitcases that was hidden inside the cabin of a truck. Through further investigation, the police determined that it was organised by a well-known Spanish group who were nicknamed Recitas. They went on to arrest several lieutenants that worked for this group and the operational and logistics management. All of them had different roles. Some of them were focused on trying to export and import and others tried to find truckers that would be able to bring the drugs in. The police believed that they had a very sophisticated setup where there were several people that was working inside the port to ensure that nothing went wrong. They then went on to seize another 500 kilos even though the people that was wanted and responsible were in prison at this time and they discovered that people had travelled from Algeciras to the penitentiary in Valencia in order to arrange these deals. So when the police say that they've destroyed a group or a gang or importation, really what they mean is that they've sort of hindered it. Every time this happens, this is a perfect example to show that they continue on to do the work, even in prison. And with such intricate setups, it's very difficult for the police and also the importation border force to be able to seize these every single time. And while we're on the subject of ingenious ways to try to import drugs into the country, in another story coming from Spain, people have been arrested in relation to 3D printers and smuggling pink cocaine that was hidden inside ornaments. The civil guard within the framework of Operation Cupid dismantled the criminal organisation that was moving the pink cocaine hidden inside the 3D prints. The start of the operation took place in February this year, 2023. The Civil Guard detected shipments heading to Colombia and Australia from Madrid and they were disguised as Valentine's Day gifts. The drugs that were hidden were MDMA and also 2C that they say is a mix of MDMA and also ketamine. They found 4.5 kilos of MDMA and at each time they would send 800 grams, which is nearly a kilo, in these tiny little compartments that 3D printers had created. They arrested five women that they believe were responsible for packaging and posting all of these off. They also raided the location where they believed that this was originated from. And all seven of them have been arrested and charged with drug trafficking and belonging to a criminal organisation. And I thought that was a really interesting story to show the different ways that people are trying to use 3D printers. The other day I covered a story where they're using it to make firearms and today they're using it to smuggle drugs. So it shows how many different ways it can help criminal activity and also avoid detection. Don't forget to follow on social media at Scar City Studios and for the latest news, scarcitystudios.com.